Hello everyone, I am Green Eye Jamesico and welcome to another episode of our statue house builds. We can see quite a few of our little statues, or big statues I should say, in the background here. But obviously we've got a new one, or well, I've got a new one for you today. Um, we're going to spin around and I will show you who we've got today. This one wasn't a requested uh, build, it was one that I wanted to do myself. So, da -da -da, here he is. How cool is he? I love him. He was so hard. Um, <laughs> I built this one. The moon is just going down the sun. Yeah, so this one wasn't a requested. It was just, I just wanted to build him because I've been putting him off because I thought it was going to be really hard, like with the diagonal legs and whatever. But actually, it wasn't too bad. I used a, a combination of, if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that I tend to use um, this dude's uh, Dead Diablo. I use his tutorial, so I kind of use a mixture of his tutorial, which is split into three parts, but so I'll link that down in the description. But it's actually quite hard to follow, I found some of it, so I did use uh, just images as well of the of the spider. I just sort of put in Minecraft spider images and then just sort of looked through. And found, look, there's a little spider on the top. I think he's quite cool. I really quite like him. So let's go and head on down. In terms of making him, as you can see, I've got my things in the bottom. I've got grey, grey wool. Did I use cyan stained clay? Yeah, I did. Um, grey wool, cyan clay, stained clay, just a few of the little bits. Black wool, red wool for the front, and red stained clay. So let's jump down and we'll head on into the house. He's quite big. He's bigger than I thought he was going to be. Well, it's like longer than I thought it was going to be. It's not as wide as I thought it was going to be. So I've got this amount of space. I don't know why I in any way thought it was going to be that wide. But I thought <laughs> I thought it was going to like go up to Steve almost. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> but right, let's head on up. To go into this house, we come around the back, up the ladders. And I thought it was perfect just to use his legs as steps. And then up here, we have a little friendly spider that lives on top of the spider. Hello. Head on down. You might fall in actually into the house. Obviously, in a spider's house, we're going to have a load of cobwebs. So on this side, when we come down the stairs, in fact, in this little bit actually, first we've got the kitchen with the furnaces and crafting tables and whatever. I've just decorated it with uh, string, obviously. And this was a little cool idea that I found. I was doing the carpets over here because this is carpet over here, the red and the black. And I just by accident clicked, and the carpets sort of came up here. I thought they looked pretty cool as uh, like little shelves, so I've done that kind of over here in the entrance and over here as well. There's a little desk, a computer desk over here, and the whole thing, obviously skeletons. I've got a skeleton on the big TV over there as well, because sometimes spiders uh, spawn like spider jockeys with uh, skeletons on top of them. Have I been saying spiders? Or skeletons. I think I've been saying spiders. I've mean skeleton heads. Uh, the cacti was because you can do like a trap with the uh, spiders, can't you? And cacti too, because they can only fit through, because they can't fit through a one gap space. That could, if you have a spawner and put cacti down, it can kind of damage them and kill them. And here is just like the little sofa, all our little DVDs and the telly. I don't think I've put. No, I haven't put anything in those chests. So as I said, here is the kitchen, and through here is a nice simple bedroom, load of cobwebs, and just got a load of string in there. I did have, there were two spiders living in here, but they seem to have disappeared. Maybe that's the one up on the roof. I don't know how we could have escaped, though, to be honest, because, well, there's no escape, is there? But, oh, I'm so hopeless at ladders, I'm just going to fly. I can't even fly in here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I wonder how they got out those spiders. Anyway, there is the spider. If you do want to build it, well, it is quite tricky to be honest. It is quite a hard one to build, but I couldn't really find any tutorials that were really easy to follow either. So, hey, give it a go. <laughs> um, let's fly on down here to the front of his head. So, if you do want me to build somebody, do remember to leave down in the comments who you would like me to build. Maybe a nether one would be nice for next time. I'm still working on my nether. If you haven't seen my nether 
my pretend nether thing i've got you have to go and watch the what's out the magma cube video go and watch that magma cube video and you can see it's like my pretend nether in there also do let me know if you want me to build a house in the uh portal but that completes our uh spider i was going to call him a skeleton <laughs> this, that completes our spider house tour thank you so much for watching please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel and i will see you all in the next video bye